plaintiff, Tremeca Lewis, says the defendant is her little sister. And Tremeca claims she is financially irresponsible. Tremeca says she has always tried to encourage the defendant to get a job that she is passionate about. But she's suing her today for damaging her garage door. Defendant Treasure Newkirk says Tremeca is self-centered, bougie, and bossy. Treasure admits she doesn't have a career she's passionate about, but insists she's determined to become an entrepreneur. Start with you. Um, Treasure is my little sister. Um, I've always played like a motherly role, like helping her. Um, I do makeup. I got my own makeup business. I've been doing it for like about five years. So I'm always like encouraging her to um, start her own business, like, um, or even just do anything that she's passionate about. She always worked like dead end jobs, like, you know, quick jobs to get by. And um, I feel like she spends her money like irresponsibly um, on like clothes, just like, I feel like she needs to like grow up and take Who responsibility. Who does she live off of? Um, my mom. Okay. Mm -hmm. And won't prepare herself for a career? No. And won't try to start a small business? So what does she do with the time? Just work the menial job, or low income, low wage jobs? They're yeah. not menial, they're not menial, it's just low Right, wage. right, because it's not like if she does- Nothing is menial. Right, Go it's ahead. not like she does like anything bad. I think more so that she um, just needs to get like her priorities together. I feel like, um, you know, like with this uh, case that we got going on, um, she still was like spending money like after the fact of like her owing me, like- Okay, let me get some background from you, ma'am. This is my- Please sit up when you're in court. This is my older sister, Tremeca. Unless you need a bed and lay down, you on pills? No. Nope. Okay, so you don't need to lay down then. You don't need, you can stand up straight. Go ahead. This is my older sister, Tremeca. She's very bougie and bossy. She's an entrepreneur. And since she lives in a nice apartment, she's... She's very, like, self-centered. She always... You Judge can't it. find nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. She can't so that yeah. you it's clear what's going on. Yeah, she try to make up things about you Absolutely. because of her own deficiencies right. and can't even think of those things. Mm -hmm. All right. Matter of fact, let's get back to your uh situation. So did you prepare yourself after high school for a career? Kinda. Okay, doing what? Um, I like to do here, so I'll be like do other people here? I oh, do you have a life. You went to school, Cosmic nope. Well, you no, well, you're not prepared for a career till you, till you go to school, for it. <laughs> go ahead. Anything else you tried that might give you a credible career certification of some type that will allow you a career? She says you work mostly minimum wage jobs. Since yeah, right now I'm a, a health home care worker. Mm -hmm. So I go to people's house and I, I just... I know exactly like... what they do. <laughs> and they're very low wage jobs. I advocate for higher pay for them, but they're very low wage jobs. One of the lowest wage jobs you can have. And you could go to school for that. You could go to nursing. You could go into the local community college. What city you all in? Rochester. Rochester, New York, not sure what the community college there is, but I'm sure you can go there and they got a healthcare curriculum that will prepare you for some form of nursing uh, above the level uh, that you're working at now as a low wage caregiver. You can go to a high wage nurse by training, getting further training, but doesn't sound like you have any of those aspirations. Plaintiff Tremeca Lewis is suing her sister who claims Tremeca is self-centered, bougie, and bossy. What is it that you aspire to do? Nothing really, honestly. <laughs> Nothing? How do you intend to take care of yourself in life? Right now? In the future, know. no, I'm saying your life. I'll be, I'm planning on becoming oh. an entrepreneur. Okay, like what? Um, I want to start doing nails. Okay, there you go. And what's holding it up? I just have to make time for it. 
I don't make time. What do you do with most of your time? Work. Okay. The caregiver? Mm -hmm. What shift? Night shift. I work 3 to 11. Oh. So you got from morning until afternoon to do nails, which is when most people do them. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, okay. But your excuse is you have to work, but not the hours at which most popular for nails. Yes, I'm But the hours that nobody goes to get their nails done, and that's your excuse. No, I'm People saying. don't go at 9 p.m. to get the nails done while you're at work. I'm saying I work 3 to 11, so I don't have time. Did you hear what I said? You do have time. from eight, You have 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. when it's time to drive to work. You don't see it that way? So I don't get no rest? <laughs> you don't sleep at night? You got insomnia? Maybe. Oh, now you want to talk silly to me. <laughs> yeah, that's why you broke. Go ahead, and then she's suing you. Tell me what you're suing her for. Yeah, she's playing with me. And I'm going to show you how far that gets you. Sit up like I told you. What's so funny? Get out of my courtroom. Judge me for the plaintiff. You're out for contempt. Bye. <laughs> See, I told you, she tripping. I feel like she just need to, like, grow up. It's sad that we even hear her doing this. Like, she need to grow up, and she need to take responsibility. That's about it. I love her, though.